What's going on, world? I am Wesley from A Connection TV, and you are watching another Judge Free Zone, baby. The videos on A Connection TV, the network, were I don't judge you and you don't judge me for whatever it is that we're talking about on this particular video. Um, but real quick, I wanted to say, viewer discretion is that motherfucking vibes, girl. I want to get a shout out to my boy Ty Paint Cup Boy. A lot of y'all know him already. His channel has boomed. Like he was, he just started his channel last week, and he already got eleven thousand subscribers. Like that's how fast his fucking channel is growing. And the reason why it's growing that fast is because the dude is freaking hilarious. Dude is hilarious. The fat bitch, whoa, whoa. I got the fat bitch, whoa, whoa. With your hands, girl. <laughs> I don't know the whole lyrics to the song, but yeah. He did a video um, blasting me out, and I got to do a video blasting him out. Um, the guy's hilarious, such a sweetheart. And he's realness and raw and just truth and edgy. And a lot of um, you guys that have subscribed to me are already subscribed to him. Um, uh, but if you aren't, then you definitely need to boost up his subscribers. Um, Cal, he's going to be above me in like two weeks, the way his shit is growing. Um, so I definitely give him all the respect in the world. He is a completely, completely awesome guy. He got that little intro beat. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. And I want to also give a little special shout out to Jay Ray for watching me and liking my channel and liking what I do. And liking Twan Rose, cause you know Twan, I always come for the boys. I come for the boys. I come on the boys too. But you know I always come for the boys. I. He was shouting me, <laughs> he was shouting me out and saying that I should do more Twan videos. And I'm going to work on that. I'm going to try to bring Tuan back. But it, it's gotten to the point where that voice, it does a lot to the throat. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 yeah, it does a lot. So um, I can't do as many videos as I would like to or I, that I've done in the past as Tuan because that voice really bugs with the throat. But anyways, shout out to you, Paint Cup Boy, brother, superstar. Like, you know, like, your, your, your channel is doing so well, and um, I definitely am happy that I love you. So, shout out to you, and shout out to Jay Ray! Um, much love and respect. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about what he talked about in his video, where he was talking about um, celebrities is the term for internet celebrities. And um, he was basically saying that um, a lot of individuals don't, they, they're shocked when we respond to them and when we reply to their messages and, and things of that um, nature. Um, I want to say that it does become quite difficult to, to reply back to everybody because at one point in time, I was getting like ridiculous amounts of messages and a lot of them were like long messages and where you had to sit down and like read everything and it was very hard to keep up and at the time I was doing like a lot of different videos and a lot of my, my schedule was very complex and hectic and thick and working where I work and working over 40 hours a week, maybe 50 hours a week and, and all of that has been really difficult to respond to the messages and um, I've, I've realized that over the years of doing YouTube that the best way for to me, for me to respond is via Twitter, via Facebook, or um, responding to individual comments below the video. It's I rarely go to my messaging system on A Connection TV on YouTube. It just seems to work out that way. Um, but speaking about celebrities, I know quite a few celebrities. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys are subscribed to their channels now. And the only thing that I'll say to that is when I when I get recognized or stopped in the street or when somebody recognizes me, I'm as shocked as they are. I'm as stunned and surprised as they are because I'm thinking to myself, like, I'm just Wes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just me. And But to them, I'm whoever they, you know, see on the screen or whatever they like. And that's what they see. And they're shy when they speak to me. And they're shy to come up to me. If you guys see me and you recognize me from my show, just say, what's up? 
how you doing? I recognize you from such and such, blah, blah, blah. Don't be shy, don't be afraid to talk to me. I'm not standoffish. Um, when you walk up to me, I will respond. I'm not, I don't think that I'm better than the next person. Like, stuff like that pisses me off. Like, there are some celebrities that feel that their shit just does not stink. And, although mine doesn't. <laughs> ah! No, but seriously, don't judge me, damn it. A lot of us out there try to smell our, our, our shit to see if it stinks. And me, my shit does not stink. Like, when I leave the bathroom, <laughs> my stuff does not stink. A lot of friends I know, this shit is real rank. You know what I'm saying? Like, real rank. Like, I'm look, I looked over there because I'm looking at one right now. Y'all know who's in the house. If y'all don't, I'm not going to call them out. But one of my B fams, real rank. Like, terrible. Like, you know what I'm saying? To the point where he knows it's terrible because he start laughing. And if we be in the middle of motherfucking production, and he'll just start laughing out of nowhere and then walk off to the kitchen. I'm like, you asshole. And then me and the other B fam will smell it and be like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? But no, my shit doesn't stink for whatever reason. I don't know. I, I I just, I don't know. You know? It's the only time when it really, 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 really smells bad is when I eat a lot of stuff that I really don't have no business eating. Like, and, and I, I eat late at night or something. I don't even know. But there are a lot of celebrities that act like their stuff just does not stink to the point where they feel that they can't respond to you or they feel like, oh... Oh, you like my show? Thank you. Like, that whole thing, I'm over it. That's not me. I'm not that type of way. Um, I might walk up to you and be like, Hey, girl, what's going on, boo-boo? Ew. Hey, thank you for watching the motherfucking show. Girl on the out, girl. girl on the You know, I might, I might come out and do that before I be like, Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you for watching my show. Like, I, I can't stand that shit. It really aggravates the mind. Um, but people feel that they are better than you, um, depending on, depending on where you are or what you do. Like, for example, case in point, I caved my black ass to Popeyes the other day. And no, I'm not proud of it. Okay. I'm not proud of it, but y'all know I've been going through some emotional shit this week. And I just needed something to chew on. And at the time, I didn't really want food because I was so annoyed and aggravated at a particular situation. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck am I going to eat? Fuck it, I'll just go get some Popeyes because it was convenient and it was there. I go to the motherfucking Popeyes. And I walk in. There's not a long line there, but it's the same old, not old, but it's the same weird clerks that are usually there. Not weird. Like, how can I say this? They don't know how to give fucking service. It's the same chicks that be there that don't know how to give service. I'm thinking to myself, like, whatever. It's gonna take long to get my food, whatever. I'm I'm chill. So I walk in and um I order a three-piece, two wings and uh, a breast, and some fries, and an extra biscuit, because I didn't want no soda. I don't like ice in my fucking cups. Um and she's making my order, I gotta wait for the fries. I get the food, right? And, and, and mind you, mind you, she doesn't tell me I have to wait for the fries. I see that the shit is empty. So in my mind, I'm like, all right, now I got to wait for fries. But in my, also in my mind, I'm like, well, why can't the bitch tell me that there's going to be X amount of time before you get the fries? So I ask her, how long is it going to be till I get the fries? She look at me like, it's not going to be long. I said... I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, that's not what the fuck I asked you. I asked you how long is, like, how long is it going to take? That's what I'm thinking. Because at this time, I'm like, I already know how unprofessional these chicks are. And I'm not going to out myself out like that. Like, I'm not, Mona and Twan are going to stay in-house. I'm not going to bring them out on this bitch. I'm not. No problem. Fries don't take long. I'm sitting there waiting. She and I hate. I hate when. Don't y'all hate it when the, the the person that's supposed to be taking care of you, they don't even finalize. They finalize the transaction before you finalize the transaction by saying, "Okay, next." And I'm thinking to myself, "I'm like, bitch, 
No, not, like I didn't I didn't think the conversation was done. Why the fuck are you calling the next person, right? But Mona and Twana in house. I'm not saying nothing. I kindly moved to the side, because I know in myself. I gotta wait for some pride. So there's really nothing else that can happen with this transaction. But people out there that take care of customers, if y'all watching this video, y'all need to fucking listen. Cause the shit is, it can get real. Okay? So I'm waiting for my fries. I'm seeing everybody else's order get made. I'm getting annoyed because I'm seeing everybody else's shit get made, but where's my where's my shit gonna get made? Where's my shit coming out of this? I don't see it. Okay? I see the fries, Wow. Fries trickle down, grease splatting all over the place. You know the unhealthy shit, just grease all over the place. I'm like, all right, whatever. She starts to make the fries. I get my fries in my box, then she packages my box. She sits the box on the counter. She's bagging it up. Now, the window that she's, she's at this window where, she was, where, she, where I initially made my order. But because she said next, I moved down to this window and I'm thinking to myself, since nobody is being helped here, bitch, give me my food right here. Since you were rude and told me to be next, you nexted my ass and made me move. So, bitch, bring my food down here. She don't walk to give me my food. She is still here in front of the other lady that she just called next. She nexted me on. So I'm like, all right. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to say nothing. Mona and Twan is still in house. I currently walk to her window to get my food. Now, I know at this point, a lot of y'all are like, oh, hell no, I want to went off. Oh, fuck that bitch. Da, 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 da. This and that and the third. It would have went down. Yeah, I, I get all of that, right? I get all of that, but, you know, I'm trying to live my life as, as drama-free as I can. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Stress-free, drama-free. Judge free zone, baby. I'm so trying. Like, I really am. I'm trying. Okay? Usa. I'm Renyo. Home Renyo. Renikyo. Whatever the fuck it is. I'm trying to do it, right? Calm the nerves down. Calm the nerves. I get down there to her window and I, I, I'm about to pay for my food. I pull out my car. And this is why I, I'm telling y'all this story. This bitch. Have the audacity to not even look me in the eye. To not even look me in the eye. But she gonna go. And in my mind, I'm like, well, what the fuck does that mean? Like, what the fuck is she pointing at, right? What the, what the fuck is she pointing at? Like, why, why is she not looking at me, first of all? And what the fuck is she pointing at? So, when my mind starts to compute, what the fuck just happened? My mind tells me to look in the direction that she pointed at. Because she didn't speak any fucking thing. She just looked at me and pointed. So I look. And y'all know what the fucking sign said? <laughs> the fucking sign said, no credit cards today. Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm not in the screen. I'm pissed right now. I'm like, okay, first of all, all she had to fucking do was say, I'm sorry, sir, there's no credit available today. Do you have cash? Matter of fact, she should have mentioned that before I even made my, made my purchase because not everybody carries cash on them. So before I made my purchase, before I'm thinking that I'm, I'm my order, before I'm thinking that I'm about to get my chicken, my fries, and all that, she should have said, sir, I don't know if you noticed know, the sign, but unfortunately, we have no credit today. Um... Are you able to pay by cash? Then I would have been able to assess the situation and see if I can motherfucking pay by cash. This bitch gonna let me get through my whole order. All right? Don't judge me because I'm cussing. Just free zone, goddammit. Free world. This chick gonna have me get through my whole fucking order. Wait till I get that at the end. I'm about to eat my greasy, nasty ass fucking Popeyes. And I'm saying it's nasty because at the time I didn't really eat. And then I really didn't eat the food anyway because I was, I was going through emotional distress. So my greasy, nasty ass Popeyes. And she gone silently, without even looking me in the face, point to a sign that I obviously did not see and expect me to be like, oh, okay, well, here's the cash. I damn near lost my mind. People out there, don't do that. Don't do that. Because although the glass that she was behind was bulletproof, 
my arm is long. And I was ready to yank a bitch to the motherfucking counter and say, this is why disrespectful people like you get their ass whooped when they get off their jobs. Because that made no sense. That made no sense at all. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I'm a calm person. You know, disrespected me 15 times when I got in this motherfucker. And now you're going to pull that last stunt on me and expect me to be cool, calm, and collective. Triple C, like Mona would say. What if I wasn't? What if, what if I wasn't? What if I just completely took that whole situation out of proportion and got really, really ghetto on you? And was just like, whoop your ass. Like, people just don't understand. Like, there's a certain way that you have to treat people when you're given a service. When people when people are giving you their hard earned money, okay? A lot of them don't don't work hard to get their money, but when people are giving you their hard earned money and they're giving you respect from from the jump. It is your job you get paid to give me respectful customer service. The whole point in this shit and, and not looking at me in the eye when speaking to me and all that, that basic fundamentals of respect, when people don't give that, that shit pisses me the fuck off. And I'll be liable to go off, but then I'd be in the news, the skinny black gay boy and, and Popeye is going off on somebody because she pointed at a sign. It, it goes back to um, the way people, the way people are treated, period. Like, I, I could bring up the race card, but you know, people get mad when you bring up the fucking race card, but... When you when that when that shit pulls down on you, people don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's the race card is dealt and, and played and shuffled because it fucking exists. And I hate when people say, "Oh, he's playing the race card." It exists. And if you if you've never had to deal those cards, you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, and you'll never know what the fuck I'm talking about. So don't say, "Oh, he's pulling out the race card." You know what I'm saying? And it's moments like that where people are placed in that situation that makes them feel like. They were really handed the race card. So, prime example, where everybody else that she took before me wasn't black. They got good customer service, a decent customer service. I got a pointed finger and a side eye, not even looking in my direction. So, how the fuck would I feel? Like, how would y'all feel about a situation like that? And I, I, I made this video on a whole to get y'all to understand something. <laughs> It's never good to go off if you're not going to go off. But no, seriously, it's never good to go off because any violent situation is never a good situation. Even if you're defending yourself, the outcome is going to be catastrophic because either you're going to really do damage to this person or, or this person is really going to do damage to you. Either way, the outcome is very catastrophic and it's never a good violence. It's never a good outcome. It just never is. So, with that said, People that work at a company where you're supposed to give service and you get paid to give service, treat customers with respect if you want them to treat you with respect. And vice versa. Customers don't think that you can walk anywhere and, and, and do whatever you want to do and, and not and not be like and not aggravate the clerks. It's all supposed to be a mutual exchange. A mutual exchange of respect and money. I just had to do this video real quick, just to touch upon that, that chick from Popeyes and it's just a hot mess. I'm Wesley from A Connection TV. Love this video. Comment on this video. Let me know if you've gone through an experience like that. And let me know how do you feel about the race card and, and everything that I, I, I basically stated in this video. Because it's, it's definitely out there to be dealt. dealt. And a lot of people do still deal those cards. And they don't know how they're treating people and how they're feeling. Um, how they're potentially hurting people. But anyways. Later.